Hi y'all, it's me. I'm finally back with more tips and ideas for 2012. So I apologize for being away for a while, but I was really involved with CHA and Carlene's visit and then catching up on my projects and things. So I just haven't had the chance to post one, but hopefully I can get back into the swing of it. So I think I'm joining you now with number nine and 10. Um, if that's not correct, I'll fix it. But anyhow, um, my first one is just something cute that I saw and I wanted to share with you. Um, I actually saw this idea at Target. I was there to um, shopping and I looked in the dollar bin and something caught my attention. And it's a way to take a heart shape like you see here and fold it into an envelope. And it was in this kit right here that came from Target. So pretty cute. And it's really simple. And there aren't any measurements because the heart size will determine the size of your envelope. And basically what you can do is, um, let me see if I have one handy really quick that I can show you. You would basically take your card and lay it down like in the center and then get your measurements of where to score. Um, so there's really no actual measurements to this. It's just a matter of how you, um, how you score the, the piece itself. So... I will show you how that's done and I have one that I've already scored here you can see my card size is right here in the middle I'm going to turn that over what you want to do is you want to bring in the sides first bring the bottom up to the top and just adhere it down here on the sides look how cute that is it makes a nice little dip right here for your card and then you bring the top down and there you have your envelope for your greeting card. So stinking simple and so stinking cute. And I'm always struggling for envelope templates and stuff. And well, this one was super easy. And if you have a Cricut machine or a silhouette or whatever, you can cut out a heart shape and, um, and do that. So that was idea number one. And uh, number nine, sorry. And number 10 will be um, closures for your mini books. And... I know a lot of us just, um, some of us like to put ribbon the front and back and just tie a bow to keep it closed. Um, other people like to use, um, I don't know, chain or something. And this is just my version. And I've been doing this for a while, so you might have seen it in some of my previous videos. But I take these little clips right here. And let me move in just a hair closer so you can get a better look. Whoa. <laughs> So here they are. These come from, I got these from Joann's. And a lot of us use them for our homemade clip it ups or our clip it ups. Um, these are in the jewelry section, jewelry findings. And I don't know what their original purpose is or what they're for, but anyhow, I use them for multi purpose things and closures for my minis. So basically, all I do is I remove this wire and you just simply unbend the piece that's down in there. I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well. But anyhow, you, you remove that piece on the inside and take that wire out. Now you can alcohol ink these. I'm not really crazy about the alcohol ink only because it kind of looks blotchy to me. But if you're going to put something on top of it and you just want to make sure there's no silver showing, it works okay for that too. So you could alcohol ink them. Now in this one I'm going to show you, I actually painted the, the um, here it is right here whoops let me come towards me <laughs> um i actually painted these and um you can see there it's painted and i used a multi-purpose uh paint which happens to be this one i got it at um cha as a sample from a class and it's the multi-surface paint which is really good it goes on fabric glass metal wood it's really good i mean if you want an like a paint that's for everything this is probably the way to go I was impressed and they have a lot of colors too so that's how I painted this one here and then I used some of it as well on the um <clears throat> the rims of the flower just to tie in the color and then you simply get a ribbon or whatever you want you slide it through now inside of these little clips that I showed you there's a spring in there you just want to make sure that the um, ribbon comes up one side and goes down the other side of that spring and then you bring it around and you just tack it down with um, glue on the back. And that's how you make um, this one, which is really simple. The next one, I use some um, mesh, blingy bling mesh, and this is the Pro 31 uh, mesh. And I actually, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I cut um, little pieces of it right here and I adhered them onto the both sides of that clip. And 
Remember when you're doing this, you want to use a really good glue. I recommend E6000 only because it's going to get a lot of handling when people open and close it. So you want to be sure that it's going to stay on there and not fall off. So an E6000 is a good glue to use for this. And then you do the seam binding um, the same way. You, you know, wrap it around and tack it down in the back. And then on this one, I just added a flower in the center. And I used the wire that was on the flower to um, wrap it onto the seam binding there. So that makes another cute closure. And then the last one I'm going to show you involves using these ribbon slides. Now these happen to be the... Um, the ones with the real rhinestones, I mean, they're beautiful, but they're a little more expensive than the ones that are the faux um, bling stuff, you know, the fake, like they're made out of, I think they're made out of this stuff. Um, these are a little bit more expensive, but uh, it's what I had to work with, so that's what I wanted to show you. Um, basically, I took this and I put a pearl in the center that I had, and then I made one, and I'm going to show it to you on an actual book. And that's it right here. This is a mini that Rena made me. Thanks, Rini. And you could see it there. Isn't that lovely? I think it came out really lovely. And um, for this one, for the connector, whoops, the, I used a piece of pearl strand and I just adhered it um, down there with the um, E6000. But as you can see, it's a beautiful addition to um, your closure if it requires one. And even if it doesn't, it's still pretty. <laughs> so that's um, tip number 10. And so I think that's about all I have for you. Now, you might also know that you can take this bling mesh, the one that's this one here, and you can also cut... Um, shapes out of it as well uh, to um, use and I even put a pearl I just cut a square see it's just a regular square on the back and I just glued a pearl right to the top of it it's not exactly as pretty as the others but it's a it's an alternative for those of you who don't have access to the other kind so that's just something else you could do um, and that will be it for number nine and ten I'm also going to be linking um, two or three links below. One of them is a mini page that I did for a Valentine's Day and it has uh, the second video will have the tutorial on how the fold-out pocket was made on the back. It's heart shape. It's pretty cute. And then I will also link another video that I did long ago for Valentine's Day on altering um, a coffee can for Valentine's Day. So just so you can have some more ideas before the magical love day gets here. So thanks for watching so much and talk to y'all soon. Bye!